to another episode. Today we have Bali Bloss with us. She is a British contemporary artist known for creating wide-eyed characters who displays her work internationally, mainly in New York, Paris, Madrid, and London. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Grateful to have you on. Um, to start us off, uh, I always like to ask this question because I'm just curious. When you were younger, did you see yourself doing what you're doing now or is it completely different to what you visualized? Uh, it's not the thing I saw as my job because obviously you are told as a child that you need a job, like um, you need to be like a doctor or, or a lawyer and uh, have a job that, you know, brings money and, uh, you know, it's uh, like a proper job. So um, I did do art like since childhood and uh, I did like painting and uh, I did paint since I was like four. I've been painting um, uh, like um, oil on canvas and the uh, watercolor. So all sorts like small sculptures as well, but it's not something I saw as a job because uh, you are obviously like told at school that uh, job mm -hmm. is meant to be uh, something uh, boring. So. <laughs> Isn't that weird? So. School messes us up, I think. Totally. Not... Yes, I think so too. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, curious for artists do you think um because as you were talking this kind of just came up for me do you think that a lot of artists have trouble like making their artwork their job because of that like psychological association with like they almost feel like if, if it becomes their career it'll take the joy out of it or something like do you yes yeah 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 i think that there is part of that plus like you know um like uh, parents and friends if you say you are going to be an artist as a job they look at you and think it's not gonna work you know so that perception that no one actually believes that you can make it unless you are like very lucky. I don't think it helps very much. Plus, uh, uh, lots of artists think like, uh, you know, they're going to be poor and uh, okay, there is, it's hard to start, I guess, and uh, it is hard to make it ha happen. But uh, I think more, more of us should try and we should see it as an actual job because, uh, and not just like a, hobby because it's a job like any other job and uh, it just brings so much joy to the world like you know uh, you know all the art you go and see like in Mo MoMA other pla places in the world I mean uh, I can't like think of a world uh, without all the art around so I think it is a job like any other job and uh, yeah and then um, I think like um, uh, if I w was to go like to art school, I think they kind of um, try to put some some of the uh, way of doing art onto you. They try to teach you this is how this should be done or that should be done. So I think that uh, takes a bit of joy out of it as well. I never went to art school. I just uh, like doing my own thing, but. Uh, I that's why I ne never went because I just feel like it would take a bit of joy out of it just because mm. you are being told this is the way it should be done and uh, I don't believe in that <laughs> yeah it kind of removes creativity away if yeah doing it exact way. Um, so let, let's actually go through your journey because I think that'll be helpful for the audience so um, so you're younger, you are like painting, drawing, like you're doing some artwork, but not thinking it's a possibility of a career because yeah, uh -huh. brainwashing, let's call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and wh when, how do you like, do you get a job? Like, do you, like, cause how do you transition to like full-time artists? Did you have some sort of something to supplement income while you yeah. were- Yes, yes, I did at, start, at the start. I think it's uh, like uh, it helps obviously to have some money at first. So uh, I don't come from money. So I had a job like um, I had I ha have a de degree in uh, economics, actually. 
side ha, had a job in investments for a while wasn't like a very exciting job but i did that for a few years uh, and i've been pain, painting uh, during that time as well and uh, you know i worked for like a big companies for a few years and uh, i just found like a uh, life wasn't very um, uh, you know exciting and uh, I would just come back home each day and I was like unhappy with what I was doing. So I just thought, uh, is there a way to do something that I like actually? So I put some of my ma money that I made into my art just to um, grow my art uh, more, you know. But uh, yes, so I, so I did have a job. I went to all of that and uh, I'm glad I don't have one anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, it's better on this side, I'll say that. Yeah, totally. Uh, but you have to go through it, I think, and um, it makes you appreciate this side even more, right? Like, Oh, sure, yes, yes, yeah. I think if you are just born with a lot of money and can like, like do anything you want, then you don't appreciate it so much if you work for it and... Uh, actually work hard to get to where you are then i think i think uh, it uh, m makes you feel like you did, did it by yourself and you achieved something so yeah mm -hmm. so i think it's been good it's just hard at times of course and uh, it's it's important to like not give up and to to like stick with, with it and you know these days i thought oh it's too hard because um it's hard just because you are trying to like uh, if you are like new online it's a uh, these days is quite um, important I think to have be like on Instagram and have all this social media online Google and press and things so if you just starting with all that then it's very hard to sell a piece of art because if a uh, collector wants to buy a piece of art obviously the first thing they're going to go google check out who you are and uh, if you are not there if you you don't have like a huge online fan base then i think it's harder um yeah. because then you are just stuck to trying to sell like uh, pieces to friends for like small money and uh, you know it actually costs a lot to paint it costs a lot for canvases and paints and uh, and to show your art at first as well like to ship the art because uh, I'm based in the UK but most of my art is like displayed abroad not so much in the UK so you know at first I think to ship it and to show it so it's it's a uh, it's hard, but um, it's paying off, I guess. And uh, yeah. For sure. So let's actually dive more into that because I'm curious. So like, um, well, first, so you start, when did you start to see some success? Like what, was it like one of your paintings that did really well? Or like what, what was the tipping point for, for you? I think I started seeing success when I like joined Instagram like uh, two years ago I joined Instagram and uh, uh, lots of uh, follow followers they would like contact me and ask me how to buy a piece of art also what helps me is like to find uh, like a niche so right now I'm uh, doing those big eyes so it's uh, like uh, try to like grow my own style like do something more unique so obviously you can like it you may not like it but it's something you know uh, di different I guess because you see a lot of art is um, out there so it kind of uh, tends to repeat itself sometimes uh, like uh, uh, so I think it helps to just uh, you know do your own thing just to find something uh, that it's just you who does it and then uh, you may find like um you know some fans who like wh what you do and uh, it's just uh you know you are the on only one in the world who does that so uh, they're going to buy it hopefully 100 <laughs> percent. so what did you i love that you just said that so like did you start out kind of painting um i guess whatever you wanted and then the big eyes you, you pick the lane and now you're kind of like known for yes yes the big eyes kind of just 
happened. I try to do like a lot of uh, mixed me media before, like um, I put like um, bits of things on uh, my paintings or like uh, 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 rubble or uh, uh, notes or knives or stuff. So I did that at first, but then I thought um, I just would like to just do the oil paints uh, without things attached to them. So, so I'm just I'm not that great with spaces actually. So um, I just uh, invented my own kind of uh, face that uh, looks the way it, it does. So, <laughs> yes. No, that's not well. It's unique, and I think, like you said, um, there's actually a guy. I live in Miami, and there's a guy mm -hmm. down. There um, well, this show, I don't know much about. His name's either Alec or Alex, Alex Monopoly. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, have you ever heard of him? No. Um, Should I? He, he's, a, he's a pretty famous painter, but I, I don't know if he's known like worldwide, but in Miami, mm -hmm. he's pretty famous. Yeah. And um, he just paints, uh, I think, a lot of different things, but one of the main things is like kind of Monopoly characters. Okay. And, oh, that's cool. Right, so he like picked a lane um, and obviously he's a good artist, but he picked a lane and now um, he's kind of like known for something. So yeah, uh -huh. I feel yeah. like that's mm -hmm. what you should do. That, that helps you stick out in, in the crowd, basically. Yes, yes. I think so. I think this is like best advice I got. Like uh, my friend um, whom I met in uh, when I was in South America uh, on my trips, uh, tra travel trips. Uh, so my friend I met there, he paints, and uh, this is like the best piece of advice he gave me, like to uh, try to find something like uh, unique that you are going to do, and uh, you know, you can you can't be like by liked by everyone, obviously, but you are going to uh, stand out in s some way. So uh, mm -hmm. with what you do, so. This is what I try to find. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to work a bit more actually on the eyes now, just to still stick to the eyes, but kind of experiment with them a bit more. So, um, so I will be doing that now. This is the plan, but I just came back from US. So I had a exhibition there uh, last week. So I just came back from there. So I just been like, um, out of UK for a few weeks, uh, so I have to get back to things. I feel yeah. Where were you at in the US? Oh, New York, but um, because of the restrictions due to pandemic uh, still in place, I had to spend two weeks in Mexico before because uh, you cannot fly from UK to US unless you are American. You cannot fly. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So, so Brits can't go from UK to US right now. You have to go via a place that's outside of Europe. So I picked Mexico because I spent like two weeks there, uh, and yeah. then I went to New York. Was it at least? Were you like quarantined, or was it at least fun in Mexico? Like, it was fun. Yes. Good. good. It was. You can do like anything you want. It's just so weird that they make you do that i mean i don't mind because i had fun at the you know palm yeah, trips I and i got some tan so it's <laughs> i don't mind yeah no i i say if they're gonna make you do it you know get, get yeah get sure good... why not um so uh what i wanted to ask you too is like what is your when when you know or i guess i'm trying to word this right so it's like do you plan your creativity to paint or is it very um like just in the moment like you do you meaning like do you know when you're going to paint uh this week or are you going to wake up tomorrow and if it feels right then you will do it and if it feels off then you won't like what's the no uh, it certainly needs to feel like there are sometimes I have whole weeks I don't paint I just uh, do something else I don't know I read books but uh, most days I paint but there are just days I don't want to paint and uh, it's not like a it's not like a job you know uh, if you force yourself then it won't be like a, 
it won't be the same. It needs to like, to me, it needs to like come from the heart and I need to be feeling it that I want to paint. I can't just make myself and paint. Okay, today I have to paint because it would like ruin it for me and I wouldn't uh, like to be doing it anymore but um the ideas they come to me like um at all sorts of times so then i kind of like uh, write them down or i do uh, like a small sketch just with with my pen i don't really sketch much i just uh, do like a uh, take a pen and just do a few dots and stuff but uh, so yeah. just so that i don't forget so i got like a list of things i may want to paint in like a next weeks but next weeks but uh, some sometimes i'm going to paint them and uh, there are times i just uh, don't feel like doing it anymore so i just uh, bend them and i think of something new but i know i don't paint uh, when, just uh, when i plan it okay uh, Today I'm going to paint. No, I just, uh, it needs to, you know, I have to like wake up and feel it like, oh, okay, I feel like painting. Okay, now, so on that though, lo love that. Um, is there anything you found that helps you w like have that, that feeling more often? Meaning like, um, like a morning run or a walk or like being, like, is there anything that you, uh, if you wake up not feeling it, that you could do that might make you feel it, or have oh it yes, change. yes, it it could. Sometimes I just if it's a nice day and uh, there's lots of times in Scot Scotland here it's all grey, so it's like it's not very yeah. nice. But but a nice day, yeah, a walk. I do like walks. I like to just go for a walk by myself and like uh, think and just enjoy being in a park. Uh, uh, just uh, being uh, by myself or uh, sometimes I meet my friends like have a drink or tea or something a chat and then sometimes I feel like uh, I want to paint I feel like more inspired um, yeah but uh, I don't ever paint like first thing I wake up no uh, I couldn't do that <laughs> I'm not awake enough <laughs> I feel you, you know, I, I have to run, walk or lift or something in the morning mm. every, because yes. of it, I'm just, I, if I don't exercise in the morning, I just feel off personally. Mm -hmm. um, so how many, I don't I wonder if you actually know the answer to this. Actually, before this, I'm curious because I, I love reading. So what, uh, when you say you, maybe you'll read a book or something, like what type of books do you enjoy the most? Like, do you have a favorite? Oh, uh, oh, it's all sorts. It's ma mainly like um, based on the real stories. So like uh, uh, last week I read like Ca Catcher in the Rye or uh, oh, okay. like uh, yeah. just stories. It's um, mainly sto stories of things and uh, uh, sometimes they sad or sometimes they cheery, but, but I do like small stories. I don't like very long books because then it like drags. Uh, so uh, <laughs> short story, I read it, then I move to the next one, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I do like books and um, yeah, and walking and uh, I do pole fitness as well. So. So I do a bit of that as well. So it's like a pole and hoop. So it's like a, it's like kind of gymnastics, you would oh, say. Okay. Yes, yeah. Oh, nice. So I do that as well. So I do all sorts of those when I don't paint. And I travel sometimes, but it's like, uh, sometimes it's for my art. Sometimes it's just like, a, just to tra travel to meet new pe people, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. So when you when you travel and you go to an art show and your art is like featured what um what all like is entailed with that like what actually happened like do you give a presentation about your art or do you do you like go and just kind of connect with people and then people can like buy the art if they want yes yes it's mainly i mean the ones i've been to so far it's uh, mainly quite informal so you go like to the opening night and there are some drinks and snacks and you just connect like with other artists and uh, and uh, uh, co collect uh, collectors and uh, just you know just chat and just exchange uh, uh conversation i guess so it's not very um 
formal, which is good for me because I, I don't think I could just stand Literally. there in front of a crowd and like mm, talk, talk, talk about myself. I don't think I could do that, no. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. don't like too much atten attention. I prefer to just be in the background. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm with you. Actually, that's why, like, that's why the po the podcast. I love it because the attention's more on you, and I get that. Oh. More, right? <laughs> I agree. With I you. know. Um, and so, so I wonder. You, you might not know the answer to this because I'm sure there's a lot. But how, do you know how many paintings you've done, like in total? Like how many different paintings? Oh. Uh over 100, uh, okay. probably two, 300, but uh, these are the ones that I actually like um, did as a job, like uh, since I've been doing it as a job. I mean, in my life I did loads, but some been just like, you know, sketches or some, um, uh, so they weren't oil, oil, oil on ca canvas in the past. So they're just like at my mom's house or they like with the friends or they just kick around or, I guess I've been some of them, so so I must have done like loads and loads. But the ones I did like for my actually um art shows and um, selling the art, so it must have been like one hundred twenty or thirty. So uh, yeah, they're quite big though, so um, they're quite large. Like the one you see there, it's actually not that big, but some are like really huge. So. Yeah. I do like uh, painting big pieces, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually, so I was looking at your website before we hopped on, and I think it's so cool. Like, I love. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, and I, I love the big eyes. It, it just, I don't know. Well, there's something about eyes that I think draws attention. Like, I, I just think what you're doing, not only from an artistic standpoint, it's it's very good art, but I also think like from a business standpoint, I, I see it growing a lot. So I think it's, uh, I think it's going to work out. It's already working for you, but. Uh -huh. Oh, thank, thank you so much. I'm glad you li like it. Of like, course. A, yeah, some of my friends like really like the eyes. And then one of my friends said in the past, why don't you do like big boobs instead? And I'm like, the point, the eyes are the point, you know? <laughs> Well, I think there's uh, there's one that had uh, has boobs, but the eyes are <laughs> and the boobs. Uh, and I see. Uh, it's called the Last Temptation. That one. Oh yes, yes, Last uh, Temptation. Yes. Yeah, that one's got. I think as I was looking. Ooh, this is actually tough. I think my two favorite, at least on the homepage of your website, are Last Supper and Queen of the Underground. I like those two a lot. Oh, thank you. Um, so, um, I wanted to ask you to, oh, because you said travel a lot. So, um, what are like, do you have any top places that, that you travel to and, and why are they your favorite? Yes. I like, uh, C Central America a lot. It's like, um, uh, and uh, Africa It's just, uh, I like the poor countries quite a lot because, uh, um, you get to meet like a lot of locals and they quite like they quite real like they don't have uh, they don't own much and they don't have much but they still like so keen to like um uh, share things with you and talk to you and they not so focused like on the whole um success like us in the west it's all about uh, who makes more money and uh, you know make more than your friend next door and show to your school friends that you made it and uh, they just really live their lives and they enjoy them you know so just shows yeah. to you that you don't need to waste your life trying to chase after money so uh, and uh, yeah i just enjoy the company and um, like um there's lots of like small ki kids like in Central America and they like to like uh, come to tourists because they like uh, quite uh, intrigued by to tourists so they like to take photos and like play yeah. <laughs> you know so yes it's quite cute and um, it's quite cheap there as well so you can last uh, quite a while you know um, uh, you can spend more time like um, like uh, I like a uh, Guatemala, um, where else did I like? Um, 
Honduras, I like uh, Panama, uh, San Blas Islands, and uh, quite, quite a lot of um, Africa as well. I seen like um, Zambia, Zimbabwe. So, so it's like uh, so so much to see, you know. So yeah. I hope to get to see some more, but uh, okay. have to uh, have to do art as well, you know. Can can sure. just travel. Well, you can do it. Well, I guess you'd have to travel with supplies. Is it hard to do? Because you have your setup there, I'm sure. Is it hard to do art when you travel, or are you actually not really able to? For me, it's very hard because the canvases are so huge. So um, there is no way I would take them like with me uh, and the paints and the, uh, yeah, I have I ha have a whole room next door. I like doing it at home because uh, I can just get myself a juice and make tea and. I just feel good when I paint at home instead of like uh, being in a studio space. So, so I have so I have like a whole room next door and it's full of the things I need. So um, there is no way I could actually like take all of it with me and uh, like uh, you know uh, just go and paint somewhere else. Uh, I could draw. I draw like when I'm away. I draw. I write down ideas but um i don't paint because it's just uh it would be just too much <laughs> to carry you need, a, you need a um you need a private jet that's what you need. yes 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 then, then can't get. afford one no <laughs> soon you'll get that oh. um so uh, what i what i'd like to do i kind of want to leave it to you if there's anything else that you'd like to share um really the floor is yours um, I feel it was really valuable to just hear your whole journey as an artist, um, uh -huh. because I think uh, what's a shame is that there's a lot of people that have dreams and aspirations to do what you're doing. They just don't feel like there's uh, like a chance to really make it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. you're, you're proof that it can happen. So, um, so yeah, I want to leave the floor to you and then let people yeah. your Instagram or like website, where can people follow you? Yes, so 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 of course the, there is a chance to like f follow your dreams, and we we all should. But uh, it's like it's quite scary. So at first you have to like you know uh, be prepared. Like it's not gonna be easy because it's scary, and uh, there's lot lots of downs as well as ups, especially at the start. So so if you can you know make it through it, then. Uh, it's gonna be worthwhile, but uh, it is scary, but it's worth it. So uh, yeah. certainly follow your dreams. Yes, I'm a true deli delivering that. And uh, uh, yes, yeah, so um, I, I'm like on uh, fa Facebook and uh, Instagram, and uh, also you can like put na my name into Google. So there is some like um, things about me and like uh, pictures and uh, like uh, links to see the art and uh, yeah. So so it's all there, I guess, and Perfect. yeah. Um, and what is your Instagram handle? Uh, it's you... at Boliblas, B-O-L-L-I-B-L-A-S, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yes. Um, well, thank you again for coming on the show. I appreciate you coming on. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.